from giant apes and saber-toothed cats to massive mammoths and mastodons. Here are 16 of the biggest beasts from the Ice Age. Number 16. Castorides, 275 pounds. There are two species of beaver extant in the world today, the North American beaver and the European beaver. While both species are large, the edge is often given to the North American variety because it has a larger documented maximum size at 110 pounds. But both species would be lightweights compared to Castorides. These extinct, enormous beavers once inhabited North America. At more than 7 feet, 2.1 meters, and weighing up to 275 pounds, 125 kilograms, they rank first in several categories. They're the largest known beaver and the largest rodent known to have existed in North America during the Pleistocene. But they're not considered to be close relatives to modern day beavers. It's unknown whether they had webbed feet or if they were dam builders like today's species. Number 15, Homotherium. Saber-toothed cats were a group of animals that are well known for their long, curved canine teeth. While Smilodon is the best known of the lot, there were many species of these creatures, some of which were called scimitar-toothed cats. Homotherium was a genus that was found across a vast range, from North and South America to Africa and Eurasia. Reaching more than 3.5 feet at the shoulder, 1.1 meters, they weighed about 420 pounds, 190 kilograms, similar to an African lion. Their upper canine teeth were shorter than Smilodon's and were better suited for slashing at prey, not stabbing it. These animals had some physical characteristics that were unusual for big cats. That included having vision that was better suited for seeing in the day instead of at night. Number 14, short-faced kangaroo, 530 pounds. It looked like a big rabbit and walked like a human. That doesn't sound like a kangaroo, but it's an appropriate description of this Ice Age beast. While it's no surprise that the short-faced kangaroo once lived in Australia, its size might raise an eyebrow. Protoptodon was the largest member of the family. These massive marsupials would have stood about 10 feet tall, 3 meters, and weighed some 530 pounds, 240 kilograms. That makes them the biggest roos ever known to have existed, and it's easy to understand why. Red kangaroos are the largest marsupials living today, and they can weigh about 200 pounds, 91 kilograms. Number 13, Smilodon, 900 pounds. Since we earlier mentioned saber-toothed cats, let's take a look at the best known of the lot. With apologies to Homotherium, Smilodon has the greater name recognition. The animals lived in North and South America until going extinct some 10,000 years ago. Their elongated upper canine teeth measured around seven inches, 18 centimeters. That was long enough to extend from the cat's mouth even when it was closed. Although the blade-like choppers were adapted for precision killing, they were actually fragile. And if they were broken, they didn't grow back. Three species of this critter have been identified, the largest of which weighed nearly 900 pounds, 400 kilograms, and stood four feet tall, 1.2 meters. Did you know that experts still don't know what exactly caused this animal's extinction? Number 12, Gigantopithecus, 1,000 pounds. Its very name means giant ape. Fossils of the primates have been found from China to India and indicate that it stood around 10 feet tall, 3 meters, and weighed over 1,000 pounds, 454 kilograms. That's nearly the size of a polar bear. This creature wasn't only big, it had a pretty big lifespan, existing from around 9 million years ago to as recently as 100,000 years. Because their timeline overlapped with that of certain hominid species, it's possible that early humans were partly responsible for the big ape's extinction. The shifting climate is also thought to have hastened the creature's demise, but it still managed to show up as the character of Captain Gut in Ice Age Continental Drift. Number 11, Stag Moose, 1,560 pounds. This critter had an elk-like head combined with the size of a moose. Standing more than eight feet tall, the stag moose could weigh around 1,560 pounds, 709 kilograms. It roamed about North America during the Ice Age, along with some better known creatures like saber-toothed cats and woolly mammoths. Unlike other large herbivores, these animals probably weren't hunted into extinction. Experts think their disappearance was due to being outcompeted for similar food sources. 
some of that competition may have come from the modern moose, which is sometimes called the true moose. Number 10. Camels, 1,800 pounds. Most of us associate these animals with North Africa, the Middle East, or Central Asia. Their prehistoric cousin, Camelops, was found in North America throughout the Pleistocene, although it's more closely related to today's llamas. They lived in open, dry areas of the continent, but it's unknown whether they could store water like the modern varieties. At more than seven feet tall, 2.2 meters at the shoulder, these animals could weigh close to 1,800 pounds, that's 800 kilograms. Whether they had humps is still unclear. If they did, researchers think they would have had two humps, like the modern Bactrian species. Number 9. Megalonyx, 2,200 pounds. Back in the prehistoric day, ground sloths could attain some immense sizes. The best known example is Megatherium, which had elephant-like proportions. During the Ice Age, the big ground sloth was Megalonyx. It could weigh around 2,200 pounds, 1,000 kilograms, and measured nearly 10 feet, 3 meters. Researchers say the heavily built animals range from North to Central America. Their fossils have been found as far north as the Yukon. Did you know the name Megalonyx means Great Claw? It's a reference to the sloth's great claws that were used for tearing off tree branches and stripping leaves. Number 8. Longhorned Bison, 2,800 pounds. Although these creatures went extinct about 20,000 years ago, they were the largest species of bison that ever lived in North America. Their shoulder height measured 6.6 .6 feet, 2 meters, and they weighed nearly 2,800 pounds, or over 1,200 kilos. While today's American bison do possess horns, they only grow about 26 inches, 66 centimeters. These prehistoric beasts had formidable horns that could measure 84 inches, 213 centimeters from tip to tip. The horns had a couple of purposes. They were used as a visual deterrent to predators like short-faced bears or saber-toothed cats, and they were also used when males fought over mates. Prior to their extinction, the long-horned bison thrived in North America for some 200,000 years. Number 7. Aurochs, 3,300 pounds. This large species of wild cattle is extinct, but they had a long run. Animals in the wild were around from the early Pleistocene until the 17th century. They roamed North America, Europe, and Asia and could attain huge sizes. Weighing more than 3,300 pounds, or 1,500 kilograms, they would have been about the size of a gawa, which are today's largest extant bovines. Their horns had a distinctive size and curvature, reaching over 30 inches long, 80 centimeters. Throughout their history, these bovines gained cultural significance and were valued as game animals. Anyone caught poaching an auroch would be put to death. Researchers say these beasts were domesticated in certain parts of the world around 10,000 years ago. Thanks to that, aurochs are regarded as the wild ancestor of today's cattle. In a sense, you could say the prehistoric creatures still live on in a domesticated form. Number 6. Arctotherium, 4,000 pounds. Arctotherium inhabited Central and South America during the Pleistocene and probably died out around 11,000 years ago. Researchers say this animal could have weighed around 4,000 pounds or over 1,800 kilograms. When standing upright, they could have reached at least 11 feet, 3.4 meters. Those proportions would make them not only the largest bears ever, but also one of the largest carnivorous mammals ever found on land. Did you know that their name was inspired by the shape of their snouts? Compared to other bears, they can appear unusually short. Number five, Glyptodon, 4,400 pounds. This animal is often described as a Volkswagen beetle with a flattened top. They were large armored mammals related to armadillos that died out about 11,000 years ago. These beasts weighed about 4,400 pounds, two metric tons, measured 11 feet long, 3.3 meters, and stood about five feet high, or one and a half meters. Along with squat limbs, it had a bony rounded shell which had a turtle-like shape. Researchers say the animal's shells may have been used by humans as a shelter against hostile weather. If so, that activity may have been a factor in their extinction. Number four, Elasmotherium. 8,000 pounds. This animal was native to Eurasia, first appearing more than 2.5 million years ago. 
The creature was covered in shaggy fur and is considered to be the largest rhinoceros. They measured around 20 feet, 6 meters, while weighing about 8,000 pounds. That's over 3,600 kilograms. Of the three species known, one was nearly the size of a mammoth. Experts think it had a huge, thick horn located on its forehead, although its exact purpose is unknown. Some theories speculate it could have been used for attracting mates, self-defense, or digging for water and plants. They're thought to have existed as late as 29,000 years ago. Number 3. Stegomastodon, 10,400 pounds. Despite the name, these animals weren't the same as mastodons, nor were they the same as stegodons. All those creatures belong to separate proboscidean families, which we'll talk more about in a later segment. These animals were smaller by comparison. They stood about 8.5 feet tall, 2.6 meters, and weighed around 10,400 pounds. That's 4.7 metric tons. Similar to modern elephants, Stegomastodon had two upward curving tusks that could measure 11.5 feet long, or 3.5 meters. Experts say it would have ranged throughout North America and possibly into South America. Number 2. The Woolly Mammoth. 13,000 pounds. Geneticists say that these prehistoric beasts are more closely related to Asian elephants than they are to African elephants. But in terms of average size, they more closely resemble the African bush species. Woolly mammoths stood more than 11 feet, 3.5 meters high at the shoulder, and weighed more than 13,000 pounds, 6.6 metric tons. Their ivory tusks could measure 14 feet, 4.2 meters, and weigh over 200 pounds, 90 kilograms. Long, thick fur enabled the animals to survive cold, harsh habitats that range from North America to Northern Asia. Evidence that humans coexisted with these animals is confirmed by their depictions in cave art that dates back some 35,000 years. Researchers say that the last populations were found on Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean only 4,000 years ago. Number 1. Stegodon, 28,000 pounds. Like stegomastodons, these beasts belong to the order of large trunked mammals called proboscideans, which includes modern elephants. Along with their great size and trunks, they were also identified by their large tusks. Stegodon was one of the biggest proboscideans, standing about 13 feet tall, 4 meters, and weighing about 28,000 pounds, 13 metric tons. Their fossils have been found from Asia to Africa, and because many of their remains have been located on islands never connected by land bridges, researchers think they may have been good swimmers. That would be similar to the behavior of today's elephants, although Stegodon is not considered their ancestors. But in present-day Nepal, there's a population of Indian elephants that are said to resemble the prehistoric creatures. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.